Hi guys and welcome to The Electric Singularity. My name is Sam Evans. Today's article comes from Amen Harayan, writing for Talk News. The article's title is Stanley Morgan Makes a Surprising Cybertruck Production Update Appalling Sum. Now, this is a very non-clickbait title, considering the absolute ludicrousness of, of Stanley Morgan's prediction on Cybertruck numbers. We'll get to why that is in just a moment. First thing I'll do before we continue, I'll show you Cybertruck's current reservations on the reservation tracker here. Here you can see on the reservation tracker, I'm on the general results page. You, if you click over here, you can see the individual results. You can see, you can sort those by country and you can see the actual reservations, the names of the people who have made the reservations and the reservation number, which is very important. On the, here on the general reservations page, you can see the total number of reservations. And we can see here estimated reservations and potential revenue. The net reservation number is 979,178. So keeping that in mind, let's return to the article. In a new update on Tesla Cybertruck, Morgan Stanley estimated that Tesla would produce just under 100,000 Cybertruck by FY 2025 in a report about six key considerations that mattered for the EV startup. This is kind of a conservative update on the Tesla Cybertruck production, yet it has to, to do not only with Tesla's capacity, but also with its supply chain constraints. Now Morgan Stanley has been wrong about Tesla figures on numerous occasions. They're rarely right, so take their predictions with a grain of salt. Moving on back to the article. We forecast 1,000 units of Cybertruck in 2021, ramping up to 20,000 in 2022, 50,000 in 2023, and just under 100,000 in 2025, wrote Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas in a recent report. Wow. Morgan Stanley's Tesla report, in which it speaks not only of the Cybertruck, but also updates on the semi-production plans, which Talk News covered yesterday, has six main points and is titled, What Matters for Tesla Here? Six Key Considerations. Those considerations are deliveries, capacity expansion, new model unveiling and ramp, China, competition, SAAS, mobility transparency. Ford produces about 1,000 trucks per day. Tesla has not stated its target annual output for Cybertruck production yet. It is currently working on the construction of Gigafactory Texas, where the first cyber trucks will be built. It may be difficult for some of some to justify Morgan Stanley's production estimates for the cyber truck, partly because Giga Texas is also known as Tesla's cyber truck factory, explains Maria Murano from Teslarati. Now, obviously, these predictions are absolute, utter, nonsensical horseshit. There is no, there is zero chance that Tesla will not far exceed these predictions. If this were true, if Tesla would produce just under 100,000 Cybertrucks by 2025, then it would take them 20 plus years to build a, their, to supply their current demand of 980,000. That's just based on current demand, not future demand. So clearly Tesla is going to produce a hell of a lot more than 100,000 Cybertrucks by 2025. My prediction is that in 2022, Tesla will produce a minimum of 200,000 Cybertrucks just that year. 2023, I predict they'll produce 1 million Cybertrucks. 2024, I predict they'll build over 1 million. And after that, who knows? Could be even more than that. So others say they expect virtually nothing this year from Cybertruck and the 2022 to be ramp up year and 2023 at half planned capacity. I would think 250,000 that year for Texas alone would make sense if we consider 2025 to be the year it reaches full capacity, not counting other potential factories. 500,000 would be more realistic. Comments a user named Manu. I believe that by 2025 they'll be doing at least one million. Tesla, according to some of unofficial numbers, has hundreds of thousands of reservations of Cybertruck. Some people put the figure between 600,000 and 700,000. And indeed, why would any company with orders? For so many electric trucks on the books take four years to deliver 100,000. Yeah, you're right. It's ludicrous. 
absolutely ludicrous that Adam Jonas hasn't done any research. I'm not sure where they're getting these numbers, 600 to 700,000, when the reservation tracker shows 979,000. Clearly, by the time Tesla are actually mass producing the Cybertruck, they're going to be making, they're going to have over a million orders on the books, and they're going to be trying as hard as they can to deliver those as fast as they can. So saying they're going to deliver 100,000 in four years is just utter nonsense again from Adam Jonas. Moving on. The writer says, I personally expect production rate of 100,000 per year by the end of 2022 and ramping higher every year after. Given Tesla's experience by then and provided Tesla will not have supply and battery constraints, Tesla probably will wait until its tabless new battery comes into production, which I believe will happen around the end of this year. In the meantime, as Talk News Tesla reporter Daniel Capo reports, Tesla is in full swing, actively hiring workers for its Texas Gigafactory to prepare them for the Model Y and Cybertruck production. In fact, as Talk News Tesla reporter Tinze Arge reports, the Giga Texas is going will the Giga Texas is going and will cost only about four hundred million US dollars according to internal documents, much cheaper than Giga Berlin. That's interesting. Amen Harayan is the founder and the editor-in-chief of Talk News. He founded talknews.com in 2010. Thank you for that article, Amen. Uh, very interesting information about Adam Jonas. You can see here that Morgan Stanley are still clueless, still have no idea what they're talking about, and this is more evidence that you should not listen to Morgan Stanley uh, on anything, specifically on Tesla, particularly on Tesla. Guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.